Beginning on May 12, 2021, Unified Pricing Rules will begin applying to AdSense Backfill. The term backfill is actually the same as dynamic allocation, meaning Google Ad Manager directly communicates with AdSense and pulls the information on the bid amount for every given ad request. And if AdSense can pay the highest bid, it will serve the ad. There are a couple ways you can run AdSense on dynamic allocation. One is through the ad unit settings, and two, you link an AdSense account with Google Ad Manager and create an AdSense line item type. Let me show you how. If you want to enable it through the ad unit settings or ad unit level, when you create a new ad unit, all you need to do is keep this box checked. Maximize revenue of unsold inventory with AdSense. Now the advantage of doing this is it's very simple to implement. It just takes you one check and done, right? But it will run the default AdSense account that is mapped with the Ad Manager account. Meaning whichever AdSense you used to set up your Google Ad Manager account, that's the AdSense that will be used as a backfill or that will be enabled to run on dynamic allocation here. The disadvantage, however, in doing this is you cannot control frequency cap, you cannot control targeting, unlike when you do it in the line item level, which is the second way or another way to run AdSense on dynamic allocation. Before you can create an AdSense line item type, you first need to link an AdSense account here under admin linked accounts. If you don't have this option enabled, your monetize more account manager should be able to assist you in enabling that. Once you have AdSense enabled here, you can go ahead, go to delivery, create your order and your line items. So let's say this is my line item. I give it a name, set up all the rest of the settings. And most important part here is the line item type. And now you will see AdSense as one of the options which will not show up in the drop down unless of course you have linked it first. And when you scroll down, you have the option to set frequency cap, target a specific set of inventory, countries, device category, and all other targeting parameters as needed. Now, if you visit Google Ad Manager's Help Center on Unified Pricing Rules, you will notice that it still mentions pricing does not apply to AdSense backfill, or to campaigns negotiated via programmatic direct. So again, this will change on May 12, 2021. It's time for you to revisit your Google AdSense reports if you have AdSense on dynamic allocation and see which of your unified pricing rules are targeting that side of your inventory. And you might have to adjust your floors or your target CPMs accordingly. If your floor or target CPM is too high, you might be filtering out a significant amount of bids and that could negatively impact your fill rate and your overall performance. Thanks for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed our presentation. Also, learn to monetize more by watching our tutorial series and reading our latest ad optimization tip. Please subscribe to our blog to receive periodic updates. Thanks. We'll catch you next time.